Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast. And for those that don't know what a pseudo cast is, this is something I something I don't say as often as I should be. But for those that don't know what a pseudo cast is, it's it's not quite a podcast. I'm not live streaming this. Usually, I'll just uh, come on here and just uh, talk about stuff for about for roughly 15 minutes, sometimes more, sometimes less. So it just depends on what I got going at the time. And um, this time around, uh, the video I'm gonna be playing is uh, Peaceful Lake Sounds in Nature, uh, Relax, Meditate, Focus, blah, 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 blah. But I'm, believe it or not, I'm really not a fan of these kind of videos. I think they've just been so fucking dumb to death. They're, to me, they're pretty much an eyesore. Because, I mean, stuff like this, this is so cliche. I mean, you know, everybody's got to have it on their postcards. You know, everybody's got to have it on their desktop backgrounds. Everybody's got to have this, you know, it's got to have this kind of scenery in their other various forms of media. It's all over the damn place. So it's just, it's something I'm sick of seeing and hearing. Problem I got now is um, I am pretty much out of options. Normally, I would like to play a... Uh, I would like to play people watching videos, but uh, those are, I mean, those are pretty, those are slim pickings right there, and I don't, I don't like playing the same video, um, or excuse me, I don't like playing the same video more than once, so, so like I said, there's not many actual people watching videos, but there's a, there's a fair amount of, uh, of, um, walking down the street type videos, but uh, for one, those uh, those actually take up a lot of um, a lot of uh, hard drive space, or it, it jacks up the file size on these, which means uh, it it just makes it makes it take even longer to upload. So, but yeah, there's no real shortage of them. So, but like I said, I'm and I'm and I'm not. I'm not that big a fan of those. The ones where they're walking down the street. Just can't get into them. So. So. So again. And um, and when I first started doing these casts. I would play dark ambient music. But um. I mean, in the words of Miles Davis. I ain't there anymore. It's just. It's. Perhaps it's burnout. But it's just to where. I don't really. I'm not in a dark ambient mood anymore. So. I think that phase has passed. So that leaves me this. Good old ambient late crap. And with a with a kinda ugly watermark there in the lower right corner. That's kinda flippin' annoying. Although to be fair, I've seen worse. I think I saw one on a CNN video where the watermark was right smack in the middle of the fucking screen. Like, I mean, that is very, very disrespectful. You know, now that I think about it, a lot of the... Or how, a lot of the quote-unquote free images out there that you see on Google have, have, have those damn photo bucket and... Like Almway or Alme or whatever they're called, those damn watermarks just peppered all through them. I think um some of those other those other free to use images have that fucking checkerboard pattern. Yeah, I'm 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 trying to tone myself down from saying the F word so much. But I'm But yeah, we uh, if that's all if that's the only word I can come up with at the moment then that's what I'm going with. I'm not a I'm not a cursor by nature, like I'm not a, I'm not a sailor or a redneck. But like I said, if if the only word I can think of at a moment, at a certain moment, is a swear word, then yes, that's what I'm going with. But uh, otherwise, I didn't do a super huge amount of stuff last night. Oh, and I uh, forgot to mention, happy 4th of July, everybody. I know it's kind of belated, but... Oh, well, brain fart. Anyway, um, I, was, I started watching a movie called Chasing Ghosts Beyond the Arcade. It's about a... It's a show about the uh, the famous Twin Galaxies arcade. 
that was located in Iowa. Um, it's you know it's pretty it's pretty much the mecca of arcades like gamers around the country, possibly around the world as well, would often well, would often would, would often make a pilgrimage to this place. And plus, back before the internet, they used to Twin Galaxies used to be the official uh, record keeper of high scores. So so I thought, hey, that's a pretty this this seemed like to be a pretty good show at least at first, and then come to find out later that the whole show was basically about the uh about the guys that broke the record that excuse me it was about the guys that broke the video game records, which I don't I don't give two shits about them. I mean I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I mean I mean I wanted to I mean I started watching the movie though because I thought it was about the arcade itself and not the uh and not the people that submitted the high scores. I don't care about them. I mean, if I did, I'd be watching a movie about them and not about the arcade. But anyway, so so I ended up stopping watching that after I don't know about a half hour in. So I got 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 kind of tired of that. And then um, but otherwise, I played some uh played some pinball, um off and on off stream, and um played some pinball FX3, some pinball arcade. Um, I did uh I did. I did freaking awesome on one table. I think I just crushed my previous high score on it. Um, but look, I mean, if, assuming uh, if you guys know, if you guys have heard of the table Secrets of the Deep, it's on Pinball FX3. It's like a, it's like a Jacques Cousteau theme pinball table. But, but yeah, I, my high score on it was like eight million. I think I this time around I scored like 53 or 54 million. So yeah, I dominated on that table. But the rest, of, but the rest of the tables, though, I suck complete ass. So I think on pinball arcade, I got as far as maybe I think maybe I lasted maybe about a minute and a half. I went through three tables. I didn't even last maybe a minute at the most on those. So I just all death four out of that one. I wasn't even gonna try to bother on that one. No point in trying to salvage that. And, um, oh, and, um, I, I, I also watched, uh, I watched, uh, I did a, I did a, I did a once-over of this one video called A Love Letter to Fighting Games. Um, uh, but it was just, I mean, it was just normal, normal statesman-like stuff, you know, how, how great fighting games are, how wonderful they are, how wonderful the community is, and all this stuff. Basically, people recounting their great experiences which were pretty much totally opposite of mine and uh, kind of a kind of a disclaimer here um those that have seen my other casts I'm probably going to be repeating myself here so just to give you guys a heads up anyway where but uh you had uh, various fighting game people you know fighting game enthusiasts uh, just relaying all their wonderful experiences playing them whereas uh which experiences that were totally unlike mine um I guess um, my fighting game formative years, I guess you'd call it back in the 90s, like when uh, Street Fighter 2 first came out. Um, there was also Street Fighter 1, but didn't really see a whole lot of people playing that. I think uh, I watched a two-player head-to-head match maybe one time, and that was it. All the rest of the times, it was just single-player. It was just players... Uh, Shooting, shooting Hadoukens and Shoryukens and whatnot. So, oh, and like usual, I forgot to mention this at the start of the cast, but I'm also drinking, uh, or I'm also drinking a V8 energy drink, peach mango flavored. So. But anyway, it's just, but it's just everybody saying, you know talking about all the great wonderful experiences they had playing fighting games which you know once once again which were to which were totally unlike the ones I've had I mean 90% I think probably about 90% of my experiences was basically me being bullied off a table by a by some uh, by some pro player or for all intents and purposes I'm just gonna call them pro players because you know they're you know they're ba they basically blow me off the damn game with like, with like two or three combos every time I mess up. 
and these people, um, they would they want to jump in immediately. They would kind of watch me play for a while, and they would see that I'm really struggling against the computer. Then yeah, then they pop in their corners and they they hit player two, and next thing you know we're having a head-to-head -head match, which doesn't last very long because he basically kicked, basically hands me my ass in a high hat. So I never had these wonderful experiences that all these um uh, these other play other players are having. I mean my experiences are totally different. That would that's what um uh, that's what would uh, lead me to play uh would play uh fighting games like uh time killers. I guess it's one of the most uh one of the most critically panned fighting games out there. Yet it actually turned out to be one of my favorites. So what and what all those reasons why is because nobody else played it, so more for me. Um, and I guess to a lesser extent, Primal Rage. I play that fairly out. I play that fairly often, and uh, unlike um, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Killer Instinct, not that many people played Primal Rage. And um, I think the few head-to-head -head matches that I've had with other players, they um, I think they actually turned out pretty good. I would um, it's like a 50-50 chance that I would actually win. But again, I didn't have a. I didn't really, there was only like a small handful of times where I'd actually play against other players in these. Um, most fighting game players would shy away from Primal Rage. I don't know what it is. Maybe the claymation animation was a turnoff. Uh, maybe the control scheme was totally different. Because um, the, uh, the way motion inputs work on most other games, you would input your joystick motion like for example, from down to forward, and then you would push an attack button. Primal Rage was a totally different animal. You would actually hold down the buttons first. Then you would input the joystick motion, then your uh, special move would go off. So apparently this seemed to baffle most, uh, most other fighting game players that were used to Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Killer Instinct. So... But but anyway, but anyway, and then that and uh, that and various Neo Geo fighting games, I play those fairly often, but uh, just by myself. And I think uh, Neo Geo fighting games was another one where very very few people played those. You know, because again, they all gravitated towards Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Killer Instinct, and uh, but and much less so on the Neo Geos and the other. The other indie out of the way fighting games, but like like I said, my experience on these oh Tekken 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 yeah, um I'd add uh I'd add Tekken to the to the big three as well um that one I saw fairly popular popular are uh, a fair amount of people played Tekken as well, but uh but yeah a series of uh a series of those those bad events that I went through. Um, that I pretty much changed my fight that pretty much completely changed over my fighting game schedule I would only play those like right when an arcade opened up when nobody else was there that was when I did most of mine but uh, even then my experiences with the big four was limited like I only played the first two Street Fighters and I only played the first two Mortal Kombat's um and I only, I only played the first Killer Instinct. And um, Tekken, I think I played uh, maybe maybe Tekken 2. I don't think I played the uh, third. I played maybe very, very, very little of the third one. Like maybe once. Um, but um, I guess the idea just kind of occurred to me. Um, maybe I should... I might just go ahead and make a make a commentary video on that video that I just saw um, that I just saw but um, I might just make a commentary video on that movie that I on that video I just saw oh my god cats really got my tongue right now but, but yeah Like I, 
But yeah, because otherwise, um, all the things I want to say about that video is going to be way, 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 way too much to have to say in a, in a pseudo cast like this. So, yeah, so chances are I'll probably end up having to do that, just making a commentary video on that video. So, but otherwise, we'll, we'll see. But basically, um, for the most part, this video, um, it pretty much went in one eye and out the other. Not, I mean, don't mean to be devil's advocate advocate or anything, but uh, my experiences with fighting games are going to be totally different than most people's experiences with fighting games these days. It, apparently, most everybody's experiences with fighting games these days are all good. All good, pleasant, and wonderful. Whereas, uh, in my case, with a small handful of exceptions, um, they were bad. So, so yeah, although, so... Otherwise, that basically forced me to play single player on most of these other fighting games. But otherwise, I can't really think of anything else I want to say, except maybe, um, except maybe going in broken record mode. Um, I've, I've said this in another cast, so I'll go ahead and say it here. Um, I'd probably say about a week ago, one of my cast videos was copyright claimed. And whenever that happens, I delete my video immediately. So, I because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste the effort to appeal something. Because I, but I said I said this in yesterday's cast too. If you try to appeal a claim, the people that are at, gonna actually oversee your claim are the ones that made the claim in the first place. Which uh, there was a legendary YouTuber, Emperor Lemon. He kind of said the same thing too. I mean, YouTube should be the final arbiter in those appeals, not not the guys that filed the claim. I mean, I mean it's kind of unfair, you know. I mean, you, I mean, it's it's YouTube it's YouTube's website. I mean, it belongs to them, not the people filing the claim. So they should be the final judge in that. So again, I. Appealing claims is, a, it, is to me a waste. And secondly, more often than not, especially when it comes to a cast video, pretty much the entire cast video is going to get flagged anyway. So, so I mean, that, that'd be a whole lot of stuff I'd have to appeal. So I, it, just, it just saves me a lot of time to just delete the video. So what I'm getting at is, uh, if you like what you're hearing, and if, if you think it'd be something that you probably want to hear more than once. I then I highly recommend you uh you download it then. Or through uh whatever whatever means necessary. Um or or record these using uh video capture software. So because who because who knows how many more of these videos that are gonna get flagged or I'll end up having to delete because of it, so so just so again just to just to give you guys a heads up. But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. But until then, thanks again for listening, everybody. And see you all next time. Take care.